Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so, I've done some stuff today. Uh, I really should be filming a little bit more of the actual happenings, but I just get a little bit too excited and just do all of the things. It's a pretty accurate explanation of what I do. All of the things. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so what I've done, what I've done, what have I done today? I don't know, maybe all of this? That's right, I've done all of this. Yesterday I picked up some uh, insulation uh, from the Facebook marketplace. Uh, so that is all of that stuff there. Um, the guy also had some uh, called like membrane stuff um, which he chucked in as well so I got all of that for 50 bucks so all of those sheets I think there's about 24 all up um, I've put it all in up the top there I've put it in all up in here um, I've put it in here basically wherever you see blue that's where I've put it uh, I have also done some of the the boxing, so I've replaced it. Uh, it looked a little bit like this before. Um, needless to say, I have to still do this one. That's why I haven't uh, done any of the uh, insulation for the roof. But it makes a hell of a difference. Like, I was feeling so much heat today, and it's pretty much why I, I did this is because being that it's now summer and we're hitting around the 30 degree sort of temperatures I don't want to be out here working on this thing in the stinking hot so I thought well I'll put up some, the insulation now that I've got it um, at least it's up I can uh, do all of that. I haven't done this bit here because I still have to replace this box. Uh, but once I've done that, then uh, it'll all be insulated. I did run into a bit of an issue where they used like a billion accurate staples to staple in the timber. So I actually had to cut it. Um, I will try and actually, I'll see if I can I'll just put this up, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I'll try and show you. Yeah, see, so I had to actually cut it and then put uh, all of that black stuff, which is the tar, uh, all around the timber and then yeah, so hopefully that will keep that all nice and waterproof. I have decided that I will be making new hatches because this particular one is broken. There, there, there are many, many broken. So I will be making new hatches to go up here, but I will use the original uh, gear stuff. So yeah, that's that's that. I'm secretly hoping, well not even secretly hoping, just more hoping that it doesn't leak while I've got this hatch up here because that would be mega pain in the butt. Um, so yeah, that's mainly what I've done today. Uh, all of that and this wall here, this wall here, as you can see, is uh, coming out across the bottom. Uh, so much so that it was really windy today and it was just buckling the whole wall. So I have started to um, frame up just this side. And you can see that I've put a main piece down the bottom here. And I've put this side on because I didn't want it taking up too much real estate. So I put this on side on, so when I put the, the ply on, it doesn't take up too much space. Um, and yeah, so that's what I've done today. Um, I will be doing some more of this, this wall stuff now that I've got some of this up here. I've got to get some more timber for this. I'll probably get that during the week. Um, 
I because I've had to start doing this this wall I haven't been able to paint the underside of the ply which is a bit of a pain it just means that I'm going to have to do it underneath the van which is less than ideal oh. um, so yeah all of these things sort of just start to snowball like they happen uh, they I don't know, it's like I, I have a plan, but then it deviates because of a scenario. Like for example, this, I wasn't planning on putting this up for ages because, well, it wasn't really required, but because of how hot it's been getting, I thought, well, you know, there's no, no time like the present. So, yeah, yeah, so I did that just so I can try and survive out here um, because it, it gets pretty hot in here um, and then the wall like I wasn't planning on on doing that until I would painted the bottom of the floor but because the wind was so bad it was pushing the wall out and uh, causing probably more damage was actually dropping the back end of the, tra the uh, caravan uh, so I had to start framing that little piece of wall uh, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to have to do the, the, well, sorry, the next part I'm going to have to do is screw the floor in. Once I've got the floor screwed in, um, I will start really hammering into this framing on the walls. And once I've done that, um, I will then ply them. And I have been looking at. Uh, at Bunnings, they've got the floating floors, and I think I could probably get away with getting enough for. I'm not going to do the whole floor because obviously there's cabinets and, and stuff going to be going over the top, so there's, there's really no need. It's just going to be wasted, wasted money. It's just no point. Uh, but I can get some eight mil floating floor, some nice stuff. There's lots of different colours and whatnot, uh, which I'll just put down in the the areas that, I don't know if you can actually make it out, but I've got some pink line, which is just a, a rough outline of where I'm going to be doing all the seating and the, the kitchenette is going to be there. Um, so just in the, the spot that doesn't have it, just in this basically right hand side, is going to be where I'm going to be putting this floating floor, so I really don't need a lot. Uh, I could probably get away with just one pack, uh, which is, I think it's about 60 bucks for, uh, it was like 2.3 square meters, something like that. I can't quite remember, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad, not bad. Uh, so I just have to screw the floor down, secure it properly, uh, and then uh, I will frame up the walls, I will put the ply on the walls, I don't know if I'm going to even bother insulating the walls. What do you think? Do you reckon I should insulate the walls? I think it's going to be... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, I'm not really feeling a lot of heat from the walls, but... And it's, it's roughly 26 degrees at the moment. Uh, I'm not feeling heaps of heat from the walls. It was mainly the roof. Um, so, yeah, not sure, not sure. I think I'll just end up just uh, plying the walls and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll, I've got some uh, 12 volt cable coming and some LED lights. They should be here next week, I imagine. Um, so I'll run the cable before I put the, the ply up on the, the ceiling. Um, seeing how some of this is actually bulging, I might, I might have to, uh, might have to put something up underneath that before I put the ply up because I don't want the roof to look all warpy. Um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. I don't know. Again, let me know in the comments. 
I never done this before. I'm using three three mil ply. I don't know, it's three point two three. It's three around three mil ply. Um, I don't know if it's going to warp, but yeah, I don't know yet. Oh, yeah, I probably will put something up just to adhere the ply to, just so it doesn't go all warping, because that's just going to look terrible. I don't want to spend all this time just to have it look fresh. Anyway, that's what I did today. So, yeah, it's really hammering along. Um, I didn't get a lot of time to do much this weekend. I had the roller derby bout, um, which my team totally won. And, um, yeah, yeah, so I had a couple of hours. I did this in a, in a few hours or a couple of hours today. Um, hoping to do more next week. Uh, it seems like these videos are getting shorter and shorter. But next week, I will be setting up the camera up the front here to capture more of what I'm actually doing at the time. Because these update videos are just, they're just not as good. Um, so, anyway. That's it for me this time. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I hear from you guys if you have any updates for me or if you have any ideas suggestions um because yeah a lot of these suggestions i've been getting are pretty good a lot of stuff i haven't even thought of um, so, yeah yeah i guess i'll see you next week but dr lair can people do anything to avoid tension